Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price as usual and also compare it to the DXY and stay tuned in here till the end because at the end we're also going to have a look on the Ethereum price. And before we start, remember that we have this uh, Femex uh, trading competition going on and today is the last day that you can register in almost 14 hours is the end and and make sure to participate here if you're trading on Femex. You can join my team or any other team, but make sure that you're trading here on Femex on this event because you will pay much less fees and also you can win up to 10 Bitcoin. So while you're anyway trading, you can win here some extra bonuses and also some extra money. And if you prefer to trade over on Bybit, then remember that we still have this special bonus going on. If you register with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description and also put here this voucher code in the reward sub, you can get up to $180 in bonus if you put a deposit of 0.3 Bitcoin. And now let's start with the content, my friends, because Bitcoin currently here in the four hour time frame is still looking very bullish, even though we have some warning signs that maybe we could see a possible correction down towards the 20 moving average here at 12,500 or even potentially come down to retest the new support at $12,000. But since here we are creating this potential ascending triangle and also the DXY is again plunging, I think it is very likely that very soon we're going to see this $14,000 here per Bitcoin incoming pretty soon, potentially even today, because we have Friday and usually on Fridays, we always see some nice price movements before we're entering the weekend and in the four hour currently you can also see here in the Bollinger Band that we're trading right at the top here so we're still maintaining here with this first moving average and it looks like that we're going to have a healthy bounce here to the upside which potentially could take us towards $13,500. The only problem that I see currently here is that the MACD and KST are starting to look a bit toppy so here we could get a bearish cross and in that case we could potentially have a retest towards here the $12,500 and maybe even drop lower to towards $11,600 because this is the bottom here in the Bollinger Band in the four hour. So this price range here is likely to be reached in case of a correction to the downside because we have here some warning signs. But of course, as long as the DXY is plunging here and is falling off the cliff and would also take out this low here at 92.50, I think we're gonna see this $14,000 incoming pretty soon in the Bitcoin price. And there is where I think we could maybe face a bigger pullback here if we're getting rejected here at this price level but if we are able to break this 14k at the first time we're gonna see a big pump towards 16 and potentially even towards twenty thousand dollar in the next coming days and this is why i think currently it is not a good idea to look for shorts so only if we're gonna have a possible pullback right now or maybe after touching here this 14k watch out to where the pullback will bring us and there start to scale in long positions because i definitely wouldn't recommend you now to start to look for shorts because bitcoin is in a confirmed bull market and therefore you should be looking now for longs and not shorts because even though we will see pullbacks on the way up it makes much more sense to look for dips and also try to long the dips instead of looking for tops and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can clearly see that bitcoin is in a bull market we are trading above the 20 50 and 200 daily moving average the 200 currently is at ten thousand dollar and is slowly coming up here towards our main support where right now the 50 daily moving average is lining up at eleven thousand dollar so a correction towards these two moving average between here the 20 here at eleven thousand eight hundred down to $11,000. I think it is still very likely to come if we are getting rejected here towards 14 Okay, because like that we will still maintain and respect this channel that we are in currently with a local resistance point of 14,000 and a support here down at $11,000. So as long as we're trading within this channel, I'm expecting this price range here between 14,000 and $11,000. And of course we have to see where we're gonna break out here to the upside or to the downside to potentially have a massive move. And this is where you can really start to do big gains if you go 
go long here in case we break out to the upside or in case that we're going to break out to the downside in that case maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to start opening up a short position so you can write it down and multiply your bitcoin once we're going to bottom out go back in with a nice long position and then write it up again only in that case i would maybe consider to open up a short position but as long as we're trading within this bullish channel here which could break out at any time here to the upside i'm still looking more for longs than shorts and in the daily you can also see that we are getting very overbought here in the rsi also in my own indicator we didn't hit a sell signal right now so that's why i still think we're gonna reach here fourteen thousand dollars in the next couple of hours or days most likely and if we have a look into the dxy you can see that here we are clearly still getting rejected from the 50 and 20 daily moving average and we should expect a continuation to the downside potentially to retest this low down here at 91.75 and potentially even create a lower low since here the dxy is still in a bear market and we should expect here lower highs and lower lows in the next couple of days weeks and months most likely so here i'm expecting still the dxy to have continuation to the downside and therefore we're going to see bitcoin also continuing this bull run that we are seeing right now so i don't think it's the end but we could be close to the end of this run before maybe we're going to see another pullback where you can also take some profits out and maybe re-enter bitcoin once we're going to retest the main supports so let's have a look also into the bollinger band in the daily because currently we are still overshooting it to the upside so this is what we see usually during bull markets of course there are also pullbacks and in that case i would target here this 12k area potentially even a bit lower towards 11,500. if you still look for good long positions i think this is a perfect entry as long as we are not touching and topping out towards 14k we still have here macd and ksd shifted to the upside which is very very bullish and we should expect here in the next couple of days and weeks continuation to the upside at least towards 14k i think at fourteen thousand dollar we're gonna see if we're able to break through and see potentially a retest of 20k incoming in the next couple of days or there we're gonna have a bigger pullback towards this 12,000 maybe even towards 11,000 dollar and then have another base to gear up for another attack towards $14,000 and if we have a look into the weekly time frame if we're able to close this weekly candle above $12,500 and also next week even if we're going to have a little correction towards $12,500 we'll maintain the support here this new support above $12,500 we should expect here big continuations to the upside at least towards 14 k and then potentially even break that resistance which would take us straight towards 16 maybe even towards 20k very very soon the 20 weekly is right at our support here of ten thousand eight hundred dollar rsi is coming here into overbought conditions so of course we are looking a bit toppy here but we still have a lot of room left to the upside and if we're gonna have a dip that also will cool off a bit the indicators because also here you can see we are breaking out to the upside from the bollinger band then take it as a very good buy opportunity and also long opportunity because even if the price goes again towards 10k or maybe even 9k at these price levels you should be able to keep alive a trade if you don't go with high leverage in and of course the lower we go the more you can accumulate bitcoin and here in the weekly time frame you can see that currently macd and kst are flattening out and also it looks like that we're gonna have a bullish cross here not only in the macd but also in the kst and this of course will put even more fuel to the upside here after this cool off that we had here in the last couple of weeks so we are still looking very bullish my friends not only in the long term anymore but even in the lower time frames there are some warning signs that we could see a possible pullback but keep in mind that in the long term bitcoin will do huge gains the fundamentals are better than ever before and also the charts are starting to look very very bullish even in the lower time frames we have some warning signs so if the price is dropping lower take it as a very good long opportunity or buy opportunity and start to accumulate as much bitcoins as you can so you don't have to fomo in later once the price is going above 20k because then the real fomo will kick in my friends and before we go into the ethereum price i want to say congratulations to everyone that is holding bitcoin at this moment in time because we are still in early stages and everyone that is already now owning at least a little bit of bitcoin is already in the boat and you should definitely 
be doing fine in the future so congratulations to all the bitcoin hodlers even though we are not yet in new all-time highs territory but if you are already right now in the crypto space you are belonging to the early investors so before we even enter into new all-time highs territory i have to say congratulations my friends and now let's have a look into the ethereum price because ethereum is looking also quite bullish right now we are breaking through this main resistance here of 400 dollars ethereum stayed in the last couple of days and weeks within this channel where we had a clear support down here at 310 dollars and the resistance up here at 400 dollars and if we're gonna have here a sustainable breakout the target would be at least towards this top that we had here at 488 dollars and potentially even go higher because bitcoin already took this high that we created in august and ethereum currently is lagging behind so it is very likely that if bitcoin is going to start to consolidate or have a test of fourteen thousand dollar that ethereum is going to chase the bitcoin price and in that case we will see potentially this test here of 488 dollars and potentially even go higher so watch out for ethereum if you want to trade this also over on bybit or femex you can also do it over there and currently bybit has also added ethereum link and litecoin here in the tether perpetual contracts so here with tether you can now trade also these coins and currently you will get also 30 percent of the fees so if you want to trade with your tether then definitely try it out so even though bitcoin is leading the show right now don't forget about the altcoins because the most of them most likely will follow bitcoin in the next coming days as long as bitcoin is consolidating above twelve thousand dollar and also potentially goes to test fourteen thousand so if you want to take these trades on those altcoins do it over on femex or bybit because if you go with low leverage in for example 10x or 15x you should be doing quite nice gains here because the altcoins always performs better percentage wise than bitcoin so it's up to you if you want to take this risk to trade also altcoins or if you want to stick with the big boy here bitcoin so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and also if you have discord you can join my free trading chat and my channel over on twitch all the links are down below here in the video description and if you need any kind of trading exchanges those are the ones that i recommend you and also where you can get some bonus if you use my register link so my referral link you will profit from some bonuses and also you support the channel so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye